Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my channel, Misha's Mantra. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, if you are returning, welcome back, Muse. So happy to see you. As you guys know, it is Vlogmas. So um, yeah, I'm putting out videos every day and I didn't want to miss a beat. So I wanted to just kind of check in with y'all as I am driving. So this video will be a mini Q&A on my Instagram, style by Misha Mantra and Misha underscore Mantra. I put out there in my stories, hey, any questions you guys have for me? And I got quite a few actually, I was pretty surprised. So I thought I would make a video to answer those questions. And also, you know, it's Vlogmas, yeah, I'm gonna keep it going. So first question, um, I get this a lot on my, um, Instagram because a lot of times people ask me where I get certain pieces from so I wanted to be um, very clear because I know a lot of people see pieces that I wear and they'll say hey where'd you get that from the most item the most requested like where did you get that from item has to be my Doc Martens so as you guys can see in the many pictures my Doc Martens are the Jaden um, cause you know, as you know, Doc Martens come in a whole bunch of different series. They have different variations. The ones that I wear are the platform ones called the Jadens. I got them from Journeys online. One thing I will say when I first purchased those boots, they were very uncomfortable. I had to break them in. It took me about, I would say a good three or four times to wear them, to break them in. And I got them just straight off the Journey site and they are very they're kind of they're not the ones i got they're big i actually kind of went down a size i didn't get i got a size nine and generally i would do a nine and a half or a ten but i got a um nine and they fit perfect they go with everything and y'all gonna see me wear the crap out of them boots i wear them probably way too much but they just go with everything they're such a good fall staple so yeah, I got the boots from journeys.com. You guys should check it out. Okay, next question was, how do you shop for designer clothes? And the reason why I know the questions, y'all wrote them down. <laughs> and I'm looking at them when I get to a stoplight. But anyway, how do you shop for your designer clothes? Um, okay, so here's the thing about designer clothes. Like, I'm a huge fan of purchasing, you know, what I like and what looks good. When it comes to designer clothes, pieces uh it takes me a while to commit to paying the full price i'm not gonna lie especially when you have outlets um and designer outlets you guys probably remember my last video uh when i went to san marcus about two years ago i think a year ago year ago i went to san marcus and that is my spot san marcus texas is about two hours from where i'm from and whenever I go home, I always go there because they have a Versace, they have a Prada, they have a Gucci, they have a YSL, they have a lot of designer, um, they have a lot of designer stores and they offer stuff super cheap. They have Mermounts in there from Gucci, they have all kind of stuff. And so while it's not super, super cheap, like this stuff isn't like five or ten dollars, but that's where I go to get my designer stuff. I also do a lot of Nordstrom Rack. I do a lot of like DSW, as you saw from my last video, um, talks about having, you know, Gucci stuff. Since, I think I said that correctly. It's S-S-E-N-S-E. Since -S -E. is a, um, like a, uh, I think a far, a fetch, a far fetch, whatever it's called. I've never shopped on there, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I really want to check them out. Um, but I just like really shop around, and there's places that offer a consignment, consignment stores. I know there was a big old controversy about wearing used bags and stuff like that, y'all. I don't have a problem with wearing a used Celine or Hermes or a used Chanel because I'm not knocking it, but for my um pay bracket i i don't want to pay 10 20 000 for a purse and so regardless if i got it or not i just never can see me paying that much for a purse um and a lot of times consignment sh shops will have stuff in very good condition for a fraction of the cost and this is legit stuff like that's why i like going to the outlets 
because let's say you know I bought a Jimmy Choo purse one time from there and it was not the most current season but I still like the purse so shopping at outlets forces me to really define my style and not so much follow the trends on such large purchases and when I make a large purchase because again I look at my you know my tax bracket where I'm at I can't and I don't want to spend 20000 on a luxury item that is trendy. Um, even if it's not trendy, I don't want to spend that much. So I definitely go to consignment shops that specialize in authenticating luxury items, outlets, and a few online um, you know, platforms that are able to offer that or you know, online stores that are able to offer it at a discounted price. Um, the next question I got was, when is my next video dropping? It's a vlogmas. So I will be dropping a video every day um, starting December 1st um, all the way to December 25th. So you guys probably have seen a few of the videos already. And I'll create a special pay playlist. So if you're into vlogmas and just want to, you know, see what's going on, um, you can just go straight to that playlist. And it'll also be... Uh, the link in my bio to where you can just access the playlist. So I'll be dropping a video every day this month Doing a lot of recording and just you know trying to figure out things that would be interesting to talk about because Being that you know everything is where it's at. I'm kind of boring. I don't even know if I was that um, exciting prior to You know the lockdowns and stuff, but uh, stuff is definitely slowed down. So I am uh, recording and really trying to think through different topics um, that I think would be of interest to y'all and interest to me. I really like this question. It was around what is my favorite season to style? Now y'all know I love fall. Fall and I'll even say winter too. I mean a lot of people combine the two but if I had to just pick it would definitely be fall. It's not that summer it doesn't have um, good options. I just think for fall it's that sweet spot in between being, you know, warm and being cool to where a light jacket could be worn um, and then just layers. And the reason why I like this, I feel that fall is more, um, I just like it for my body shape and I think it's so much, e it's easier to really play in certain trends during the fall for all body types. So just to use myself as an example, you know, I don't like wearing short skirts um, during the summer because I really do not like the back of my thighs. Well, I'm able to wear any kind of some, uh, short skirt throughout the fall winter because I can throw on tights. So for me personally, I love styling fall winter because it gives me a lot of different things to play with and allows me to explore some um, style options that I may not have felt more comfortable doing in the summer. With that being said, you know, you will catch me during the summer, you know, wearing a skirt without tights or a shorter one. It's just the comfort level for me is more when I have those tights there. Um, I love layering pieces. And of course, spring, summer, you can layer, but it'll definitely be a more lighter. And it, to me, you can still have structure during that time, but fall is when you can have those heavier materials that can provide structure and layers and textures. And I love different textures and playing in that. Um, you know, some people love playing with patterns. I love playing with different textures. So um, when I say textures, I mean like a leather or corduroy, um, you know, things like that. So my favorite season to style would have to be fall. Next question, do I style men? Yes, I can style anyone. Um, and, and you guys, it's, I will say I can style men because I know what I like, but with men, whenever I approach their styling, it's a, it's a lot of conversation to understand their comfort level because I think that sometimes with men, they have a very much like eye focus, laser focus on a type of style and what they want that style to convey. And unfortunately, nowadays, uh, people, and I think it's always been like that, people judge you very harshly by outfits and make a lot of assumptions. So I think with men, um, especially some that are, are concerned about that kind of criticism or judgment or personal preference, they're not trying to venture into other items. Um, 
perfect example for me uh, someone who I love uh, celebrity wise who dresses so and explores and pushes the boundaries would have to be ASAP Rocky um, he was one of the first artists um, hip-hop artists that I see that were wearing skirts and longer t-shirts and overly sized pieces and I saw a lot of backlash and criticism of that and what I commend him for is that he continued to push through regardless of what narrative people were trying to create for him. So I love styling men. Yes, I was style men. I have styled men before. It's just, it, I feel like it's, um, it gets a little bit more technical. And with women, I, I think I'll just rest assured that because I'm a woman that it's a little bit easier, um, but I'm always up for a challenge. So yes, I style men. My next question was, what's my favorite color for the winter season? I would definitely have to say, and I've done um, just one video, but like, I really like black, gray, and white. I love that combo together and neutrals. So I know that's not a specific color, but I love tans, I love browns, and they are very much trending, even like an olive green. So I would have to say like, neutral colors and those basic colors now i'm not opposed to playing in neons you guys can see one of my videos i have on like neons because i want to make sure that while i have my preference if you're not wanting to stop wearing those brighter neon colors yellow you still can very much in the winter and still have a look so for me it would definitely be like a tan black and white but uh and those were kind of trending this season but if you're trying to kind of go against the grain then definitely keep incorporating your neon colors brighter colors uh, it doesn't always have to be such a uh, muted tone for the winter um, I got a lot of fashion questions and I really appreciate that so this next one is besides corduroy what is some of the materials um, that I like for the winter and for me I saw the runway right so I saw on the runway a lot of people were going towards colored leather and it doesn't always have to be, it doesn't have to be 100% leather for my vegans out there. You can do very much a pleather option. Um, so I would definitely say corduroy probably is one of my number one um, picks, but definitely leather. I think that leather provides, and I'll probably overuse this word on this video, but leather provides a structure and just a level um, of execution and sophistication that can be very much transition to a street style to more of an office wear so i really think like a leather pleather option is definitely one of my favorite things to wear whether it's like a blazer pants or just a lightweight jacket things like that can really go good um, for the season and i think it really works another one i'll throw in there is like a bonus is suede i have a very strict rule about a uh, suede i do not wear suede um, other than fall winter I do not like wearing suede during spring summer so um, leather I think is the bigger one I would pick now but definitely don't want to forget about suede now I'm always gonna say for any fashion tip do you <laughs> do what you feel comfortable in and what you like if someone's coming to me as a client and saying hey if you had to pick best winter fashion tip would have to be layers now I know I've already mentioned that but I think layers can really tell the story without you having to say a word. And how you create those combinations of layers can really be, um, it's fun to explore. It can really be great. And I think a lot of mis a misconception with layering is that people think that when you layer, um, it, it, it creates bulk. And that's very true in some cases, depending on the textures and the material you're using, but you really can define and create a silhouette with layering. The first thing that I think of that comes to mind is definitely a vest. A vest can provide layers, but it also can define a shape. If I have, and I do this a lot, I wear like an oversized blouse or like a men's shirt. If I just throw on a vest, whether it's an open traditional vest or a sweater vest that I may have cropped to kind of fall right at my waist level, it will define the shape. So while I'm still playing with wearing oversized clothing, I'm still creating my or defining my silhouette through those clothes. So definitely my fashion tip for winter is layering and knowing how to explore layering to your comfort level. 
All right, muses, that's it for the Q&A. Thank you. This is like a ride with me Q&A type deal. So thank you for tuning in. It's Vlogmas, y'all. I'm actually having a lot of fun creating these videos because it's pushing me to kind of just talk through different topics rather than just planning out each video once a week. So I really like doing this. And if you like it, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about my responses with those questions or better yet, do you have more questions? I don't mind doing this again. Again, I'm running around today, had to do a few things and I thought, why not just talk with y'all, ride with me, Q&A and you know, I love it. Thank you, Mooses. Continue to watch and stay tuned.